what's up my name is Daniela and today I'm doing my first ever bookshelf tour so I recently reorganized my bookshelves quite a lot and they are constantly changing because I'm unhauling books and I'm getting new books so I thought that it would be nice to do this bookshelf tour so that I can look back at this video and see what my shelves look like at this time. So I moved into this apartment last year and this bookshelf is currently the only bookshelf I own and to be honest no more bookshelves would really fit in this room or in the other room. So yeah, <laughs> right now I'm working with this and right now my books are organized by genre so let's start at the top and on the shelf there are some of my favorite books so there is the Cormorant Strike series, The Cuckoo's Calling, The Silkworm, Carrier of Evil and Lethal White all by Robert Galbraith aka J.K. Rowling and then we have my Harry Potter books so I read the Harry Potter series in Czech when I was younger so the Czech editions are currently at my parents house and I'm rereading the series and I'm buying the English editions as I go also, it's not cohesive because I couldn't decide which box set I want to get, so I didn't get a box set. <laughs> and I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the Ravenclaw edition. And then I have the standard paperbacks, so I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which I'm about to read soon because I'm at this point with my rereading. An old copy of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince from a different edition and I don't know what I'm going to do with this because it's a floppy paperback and the font is bigger than in the other paperback so I might read this one, I'm not sure yet. And then I have a whopping total of two children's books. So the first one is this stunning copy of Illustrated Grimm's Fairy Tales and this I got when I was in London for the first time a couple of years ago so it is a really special book for me. And then I have the Czech edition of The Little Prince by Anton de Saint-Exupéry. Moving on to the second shelf. This is currently my fantasy shelf. So all the books that have some fantasy elements. So first I have this copy of The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which I swapped and sadly it doesn't have a dust jacket. So yeah, but it's The Cruel Prince and yeah, I have read it and I'm about to read the sequel as soon as I get it. Then we have Circle Girls by Clary Grant, so it has a really nice cover and I quite liked it, although the story wasn't really for me, but I got it and mostly appreciated it because of the Ace Rep, so I haven't unhauled it yet, although it was a three-star book and I don't know if I will unhaul it or if I'm going to keep it, but yeah, I'm keeping it for now. Then we have Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, so this is one of the most beautiful books I own. It might be the most beautiful one. And although this book was really good, I probably would have unhauled it if it weren't so beautiful. So I'm keeping it for now, but its future is uncertain. Then we have Every Heart of Doorway by Shannon McGuire. So I read this several years ago and I also read the sequel on audiobook and I haven't continued with the series and I want to get the next volumes but they are really thin hardbacks and they are quite expensive so <laughs> I usually don't feel like buying them although I want to continue with the series. Then we have A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas so I don't own the first two volumes because I read them as library copies and yeah in theory I could get them but it's not a priority so <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get them but I could probably get Court of Mist and Fury because it's my favorite book of the three so it's kind of weird that I only own the third one but yeah. <laughs> then I have a stack of Lee Bardugo and Maggie Steve Walter books and I don't know why but these two authors or these series are somehow connected in my mind. I don't know why. So first we have the Raven Cycle series starting with the Raven Boys, the Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue and the Raven King. These books are stunning and I have only read the first volume and yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing with the series. Then we have the Shadow and Bone series, which I want to read only because I want to read Six of Crows. So we have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising. And then we have the Six of Crows series, which consists of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. 
Then we have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, which I really liked, so I need to get and read News of Nightmares. And then we have a tiny adult fantasy section, starting with The Final Empire, Annual of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, so I have read The Final Empire and I'm about to continue with the series. And I also have The Lies of Log Lamora by Scott Lynch, so it seems that these stories have some similar elements, so I definitely want to finish Miss Bond before I start this series. Okay, let's move on to bookshelf number three. And on this shelf there are several genres because I don't own that many from any of them, which is weird in some cases. But we are starting with Dystopian. So first I have The Tall by Neil Shusterman. The first two books in the series, Scythe and Thunderhead, are currently on their way to me. So I'm going to reread them first and then finally read the third volume. Then I have Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. So I haven't read this and I'm not very excited to read it, although a lot of people say it's amazing. But I don't know, it's dystopian and it has something to do with Shakespeare, which is for some reason quite off-putting for me. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'll read this one. And now we are moving to sci-fi books. So I have Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I've never read The Lunar Chronicles and I also haven't read anything else by Marissa Meyer, so this will be my first book by her. Then I have The Loneliness Girl in the Universe by Lauren James, so this is also a young adult sci-fi, which I haven't read. Then we have Dare Mighty Things by Heather Kaczynski, so this is a young adult sci-fi and it has Ace Rep and yeah, it is great, I highly recommend it. Then I have Wishes by V. Ishwab, which I sadly didn't enjoy as much as I thought I would. An absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green, which I'm really excited to read. And then the contemporary section begins. So contemporary is my favorite genre or one of my favorite genres. And yet I don't own that many contemporary books because I either get them from the library or I listen to contemporary audiobooks a lot. So yeah, in the future I would like to get more contemporary books. And the first one I have is Let's Talk About Love by Claire Khan. So this is a stunning cover. I didn't enjoy it that much, but it has ace rep. Then we have Touch Hearts Tall Story by Catherine Ornsby. So this is one of my favorite books. And again, it has a great ace rep. Then we have Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Osman, which is a graphic novel. And I read it last week for Contemporary Thon and absolutely loved it. And I can't wait to read the next volumes. Then we also have Radio Silence by Alice Osman, which I also really liked. Then I have Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. So this includes three Christmas stories and I bought this book last year in Linz, Austria during my Christmas trip. So again, another kind of nostalgic item. Normal People by Sally Rooney, which I want to read really soon. Tweet Cute by Emma Lord, which again I read for Contemporary of Learn last week and really enjoyed it. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, which is one of my favorite books. I just reread it and yep, it is still amazing. And if you like character based stories, I highly recommend this book. Then I have The Red List and The Humans by Matt Haig. These are his fiction books. I haven't read his fiction books, but I have read his non fiction books, which I loved. So I hope I will love these as well. Then we have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So this was one of my favorite books of last year. It is amazing. Then I have The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides. I got this book in a second-hand bookstore in Ostrava, Czech Republic last year when I was on holiday there. And it was the only English book that was remotely interesting. So I just had to buy something. But I'm not very excited to read it. And then I have a very tiny section of classics because I have unhauled all of my classics except for Jane Austen books. So I have Emma, which I haven't read. Then I have Persuasion, which I have read, but it was in Czech and a long time ago. So I definitely want to reread it. And then I have a little bit battered copy of Pride and Prejudice, which I've had since college probably. And Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite books. And my last shelf is my non-fiction shelf. So the beginning is dedicated to language books. So I have some English, Spanish and Czech language books, which I won't be showing because it probably wouldn't be very interesting. But in terms of the normal non-fiction books, I have 
Quiet by Susan Cain, which I read and I really liked it. It is very validating for introverts, I think. Then I have The Highly Sensitive Person, How to Thrive When the World Overwhelms You by Elaine and Aaron. So I haven't read it, but I really want to because I am a highly sensitive person. Then I have Lagom by Goran Everdahl. So this is a very random book I got as part of a deal. And I haven't read it and I might swap it for something else. Then I have this checkbook, Jak na sítě, which is all about social media marketing and I read it and I enjoyed it. Then I have Rising Strong by Brené Brown, which is a book I really loved and I listened to it on audio, so I'm really looking forward to rereading it physically and annotating or tabbing the things I loved. Then I have Spark Joy by Marie Kondo, so this is the second book after the life-changing magic of tidying up. I'm very much into minimalism, decluttering and Marie Kondo, so I'm very much looking forward to reading this. Then I have Making World Walk for Highly Sensitive Person by Barry Jigger. So I read it a couple of years ago and I really loved it. It was very informative and valuable for highly sensitive people, I think. And the last book I own is Becoming by Michelle Obama which I haven't read, but I really want to read it soon. So yeah, these are all the books I currently own. I have unhauled so many books in the last few years, and apart from a few favorites, I've been basically starting from scratch. So I'm really excited about how my book collection is coming along. And now I only own books that I'm excited about or that I really liked. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!